This week in the BMX Progression Series, I spent some time with my brand new bike. I spent the last weekend building this bike up and finally it was time to ride it. The geometry is quite a bit different so it took me a little bit to get used to it, but I had a lot of fun. The first trick that I wanted to do today was a 180 bar spin to half cap bar spin. And when it's a trick with multiple levels, I like to piece it together. So for example, the 180 bar spin includes a 180 and a bar spin. So I throw the bar spin first to make sure that I can still bar spin. As you can see, I'm struggling with throwing the bar spin. So this 180 bar to half cap bar is not off to a very good start. But hey, look, at least I did this cool slider. <laughs> Finally, I had some luck and I tossed the bars, but now I begin the battle with the half cap bar spin. The problem is I know exactly what I need to do and I just need to toss the bars. But in my head, I'm having a really hard time processing it and just letting go. I feel really uncomfortable on the bike. One thing that really helps me out is sitting down and visualizing exactly what I need to do. I close my eyes and imagine myself doing the trick so that it feels like I'm actually doing it. Almost. At this point, I'm just really hot and sweaty and contemplating on why I suck so much. Maybe I just need to throw a few bar spins. Okay. That's better. Anyway, I gotta blow my nose, so I went over here to this tree and <laughs> blew my nose, wiped my boogers on it. and then got right back to the session. It looks like the nose blowing worked out because here we go. Finally got the trick. Now I'm a happy guy. Let's go do something else. I like to do foot jams. I always try and do a normal foot jam, a rock to foot jam, a Vader foot jam, and then a can jam. I goofed on the Vader, so we gotta try it again. There we go. This can jam was actually locked in first try. I was pretty stoked on it. Now, one thing that's really crazy about the BSD Revolution is tire taps. Normally I alley-oop into the tire tap so that my pedal pressure can catch and I can lock into one. When you alley-oop into a tire tap, it starts to roll you backwards. And with the Revolution, this does not give you any pedal pressure. So the only way to tire tap is to actually go a little bit forward and push down on the pedal like a wheelie or have incredible balance. It's a really weird trick to do. On this bike build, I got the shadow adjustable fork so that I could ride 22 millimeter offset and nose manuals are really fun with this. However, I had a hard time locking into it. It took me about four tries to finally get this trick. Now we battle with the good old fakie bar spin. Nice. Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for, we'll put the pegs to work. Embarrassing. Wow, that guy's a street car. Did you see that? And I'm really not sure what I'm doing here. I'm just manualing around the park. This was absolutely disgusting, but I took it, you know? We, we took it, put it in the video. And that's about it for this day on the bike in El Paso. In the next video, I got my four pegs and I started working on opposite grinds. I've never done opposite grinds before, so wish me luck.